What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adores him. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you for waking us up this morning, God. What a mighty God we serve. I know many say Allah. I know many say Buddha. But I say Jesus, the wonderful counselor. Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Jesus, the mighty God. Jesus, the everlasting Father. Where Isaiah said in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, Ah, Christianity is the most mocked religion out of all religions because Jesus is the devil's biggest nightmare. What a mighty God we serve. Bless the children as they go to school. Bless the teenagers as they go to school. Save the young people, God. Fill them with the Holy Ghost. Don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Jesus is the answer for the world. Jesus is the answer for the world. J-E-S-U-S. -E Jesus is the best. You are the God of holiness. You are God of righteousness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. ABC 123. Jesus Christ died for you and me on the cross of Calvary on the tree. And you do not need to take no LSD. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve, the angels bow before him, heaven and earth adores him. Tomorrow's not guaranteed to you or me. It's the mercy of God that God woke us up this morning, started us on our way. I'm preaching with this pain in my ear, the toothache, for the minds praying to you. I want to praise God for uh, you out in YouTube land who've been praying for me. I got your... Wise advice, Sarah Coverton down in North Carolina, what to do. Thank God for the prayers. The prayers of the righteous prevail as much. There's times I have to preach through stuff, but I believe God is a healer. I saw a couple that I prayed for on last year. They was in the wheelchair. And I prophesied to the young woman in the wheelchair that before the year is out, she's going to be walking. Well, she's walking now. We got it on YouTube. She gave her testimony. And her husband was in the wheelchair, and the Lord healed him out of the wheelchair. And I said, Lord, look like, I'm, look like I can pray for others. Well, I pray for myself, look like nothing happens. <laughs> look like I can pray for others that they get healed, and they get healed. And well, I pray for myself, it takes so long. I had a conversation with God about that this morning. I said, I said Lord, I kind of joy. I said, I kind of joy, Jesus. Whoa, hallelujah. I said, I praise you anyway. I said, I'm grateful to you anyway. I know we got to go through. But we thank God that he's a healer. God is a healer. Sometimes when we pray, it looks like that God is not hearing our prayers. But I believe God is a healer. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, Turn from their wicked ways. Then God said, I will come in here from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal the land. It's a price for the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. I've been talking to one of the bus workers. And I said, I noticed on the 25 bus, there's always fights breaking out on the bus. Pray before you even ride on the bus. Hallelujah. As I notice on certain buses, bad things happen. And then on the other buses, it's more peaceful. I said because it's demonic activity. You can ask God to send angels. Hallelujah. To drive out the demonic forces. In the name of Jesus, let it be peace. You don't got this. God bless the Holy Ghost bird right there. You don't got to smoke no weed. God is all you need. You don't have to take no angel dust. And God, we ought to trust. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. Our faith is tried. But the Bible said that the just shall live by faith. 
Romans chapter 1 verse 17 Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 said faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen we're living by faith by faith get tried many times we get discouraged in our homes and our finances and your relationships even in the churches because it's a battle going on between good and evil spiritual warfare going on between good and evil that's why we must put on the whole arm of god to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil there's all kind of devils sometimes we got we're wrestling with inner demons like depression there's an inner demon bad thoughts negative thoughts we're not just only talking about the devil himself we're talking about inner demons in our minds. Many of you have been having nightmares and depression. But you need the Lord to heal you. That's why I said put on the whole arm of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I want to say this. After God heal you, God want to give you power to stay healed. What's the sense of being healed but don't stay healed? And you're sick again. That's why you must put on the whole arm of God and keep on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil because you wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers. Don't have on the half of the armor. Hallelujah. But put on the whole arm of God. Whoa. Hey, Lady Priscilla. God gonna bless you today, Lady Priscilla. Hallelujah. Love ya. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Protect the God. Protect the God. Protect the God. God, we love you. God, we praise you. God, we magnify your holy name. Hold him out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And what you have on the whole arm of God. God will give you a peace of mind. God will give you peace in your spirit. God said, my peace I give unto you. Say is the Lord. Oh my God, it's a warfare going on in the mind. It's a warfare going on in the spirit realm. It's a warfare going on in your emotions. Even around you. Even dealing with people who are supposed to be saved. And they are saved. But they're carnal minded. They don't pray. They don't fast. So they allow the enemy to use them. They allow the devil to use them. Praise God, because your mind is on a woman, or a man. Nothing wrong with being in love, but don't worship that woman. Nothing wrong with being in love, but don't worship that man. There are too many marriages who love each other, but you're worshiping each other. Love your wife, but don't worship your wife. Love your husband, but don't worship your husband. When you get to a point that you begin to worship each other, then that's when it's going to be a downfall because all that worship is supposed to go to God. God said, I am the Lord and the Lord is my name and my glory I will not give to another. Double lady is still going to work while I'm working this morning. I went out first early today. So while I'm preaching the word, I sent out prayers to lady Priscilla as she's going to school, working as a teacher. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Praise God. We'll talk later. So why is she doing the work of the Lord? I'm doing the work of the Lord right now, but we in the spirit. Because God's work comes first. We believe in uh, marriages and relationships. Every relationship has problems. Every marriage has problems. But when you're married to Jesus, and when Jesus is ahead of your marriage, then the devil cannot cause divorce in your marriage. Why? Because God is ahead of your marriage. Now in marriage you pray together, it's going to stay together. Now y'all can love Jesus together and not worship. Worship God together, but don't worship each other. That's, that's deep, y'all. Many of y'all are worshiping each other. And God said, I'm a jealous God. Come on. Dodge not have no other God before me. Love each other, but don't worship each other. Always acknowledge God that he's great. Always acknowledge God that he comes first. 
Whatever relationship you in, even if you with your friends, always put God first. God comes first. If you have to meet. God comes first. It doesn't mean God don't want you to have a life. It doesn't mean God don't want you to have fun. But put God first. Stay in his will. You stay in the word of God, then you stay in the will of God. In order to stay in the will of God, you must obey the word of God. That's deep. For you obey the word of God, then that will help you stay in the will of God. Then your prayers will be answered. Many people's prayers are not answered. God doesn't answer everyone's prayers because everyone do not answer God. Everyone is not in the will of God. But when Jesus says, seek and he shall find, knock and the door shall be open. He was talking to people who obey him. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. When you obey God, that's when God will answer. Folk want to obey, folk want God to answer, but don't want to stop shacking. I fornicate. I commit the adultery. Folk want, want God to answer prayer. We want God to give us a million dollars, but don't want to obey him. We act like that Jesus is a genie. Jesus is not a genie. A genie is not going to tell you to repent. A genie is not going to tell you that you must be born again. A genie is not going to tell you to come out of witchcraft because they're doing witchcraft themselves. But when it comes to God, God will say repent. Jesus said he must be born again. Oh, uh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. <laughs> of the water and of the spirit, I we cannot enter to the kingdom of God. For want to get blessed, but don't want to follow the requirements that God has given us. That was the problem with Israel. Time God used Moses to deliver Israel out of Egypt. God divided the Red Sea. God sent ten plagues. God showed his miracles. But they begin to disobey God. And take God's glory and give it to a statue. That was a slap in God's face. The statue did not deliver Israel out of Egypt. It was God who used Moses to bring Israel out of Egypt. And yet they took God's glory and gave it to a statue. When God said, I am the Lord. All of my high and I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. He said, I am the Lord. And the Lord is my name. And my glory, I will not give to another. Yet they took God's glory and gave it to a statue. When God said to Israel, thou shalt not have no other gods. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, before me. And that's why God did not answer their prayers. They disobeyed. And the church looked like it's doing the same thing. My message today, the spirit of witchcraft is in the church. The spirit of witchcraft it's in the church. It's in the world, but it's really also in the church. A whole lot of witches and warlocks. Every witch, a warlock, do not look like a witch and a warlock. A lot of them are very, many of them are very beautiful and handsome. So it's hard these days to recognize a witch or a warlock because they come handsome. They come beautiful. Pastor Paul said Satan transformed himself as an angel of light. There's so much witchcraft going on in church, in the government, in Hollywood, devil worship going on in the neighborhood. That's why you must pray before you walk out of the house. Pray when you get on the bus so God can send angels who are more powerful than demons. David said that the angels of the Lord and camp about those who fear the Lord. When you walk up right before God, God will give you power over devils, over demons to plead the blood of Jesus over your life and over your children and over your wife and over your husband because it's demonic activity fighting against your marriage. It's demonic activity fighting against your children. It's demonic activity in the churches, on the pulpit. Demonic activity going on in Hollywood because most Hollywood stars are Satanists who sold his soul to the devil. I just found out that Diddy right now is in Harlem where I was born at. 
He right now in Harlem right now. Did he needs prayer and need to repent for having all these sex parties. I'm praying for Con West too. I'm praying for Cardi B. Beyonce, I know you love Beyonce, but Beyonce is serving the devil. She's a witch along with Jay-Z. You see, God must understand something about Hollywood. Hollywood had sold his soul to Satan. Hollywood is connected to Hollywood. Even in the music world. I play bass guitar, so I know what I'm talking about. They wanted me to sign a contract to play in the hip hop world. I said, no, I'm gonna stay with Jesus. I'm not gonna sign no contracts with the devil. Because Jesus said, oh Lord, what profits a man if you gain the whole world and lose his soul? There's a lot of witchcraft activity that's going on. You got a lot of children practicing witchcraft already at an early age. When the Bible speaks against witchcraft, even God told Moses to tell Israel, suffer not a witch to even live because they're wicked, they're evil. Wizards are the male version of witches. God told Israel in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 31, regard not them who have familiar spirits and neither seek after the wizards. Wizards are male witches, like Harry Potter, male witch. You say, for I am, the God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see you this morning. Hallelujah. You're too blessed to be stressed. You say, for I am the Lord your God. He said, Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Go away the Ouija boards and the idols and the statues way down in Brazil and Africa and Haiti and here in America to me for doing evil voodoo. I know many of you are saying that's your religion. Well, God is against that religion. God wants a relationship. God doesn't work with evil voodoo. God doesn't like black magic. God doesn't like witchcraft. It's wicked. It opened up doors to demon spirits. Demons do not come to make you feel good. Demons come to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Jesus is still the answer. They don't mock Mohammed. They don't mock Buddha. But when it comes to Jesus, them drag queens died in Paris doing the Olympics, just like a woman. When the Bible said, that a man not supposed to wear anything that's pertaining to a woman. Somebody said, well, this hate speech. No, it's not. It's true speech. We was in birth by two lesbians. We was in birth by two sodomites. We was birthed by a mother and father when they made love and got married. That's how we was birthed. That's not no hate speech. That's truth speech. Come out. That's all a form of witchcraft. You got witches in the schools. Teach the young people how to do black magic. They teach the young kids how to work magic at an early age. And that's why your children became demon possessed. When your child is acting bad in the class, it's demonic activities. Cause they're watching that video, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is the wrong video game that teaches young children how to kill. But the Bible said thou shalt not kill. Come on. It's demonic activity. No wonder your child been so bad. You got your child hearing all this hip hop music. Hear all that rap music. That rap music promoting violence. When the Bible said, Thou shalt not kill. Love thy neighbor as thyself. All that violent rap music is hypnotizing the young people to become violent. That's why the world became violent. Now the children think it's okay to get a gun and shoot somebody. No, it's not okay. Murderous, God bless you, young woman. Happy to see you this morning. God is with you. You're welcome. Hallelujah. When the Bible said, thou shalt not kill, the Bible said murderous will have their part in the lake on fire. Somebody said, who are you the judge? It's the truth. The Bible said, he shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Robbers are going to hell. Murderers are going to hell. Sex offenders are going to hell. It's all a form of witchcraft. Child molesters 
are going to hell. Come on. Hallelujah. The world needs a Holy Ghost, not a drug overdose. Child molesters are going to hell. Sex offenders are going to hell. You supposed to protect the child, not molest the child. Speak blessings over your child. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You can break that curse by speaking blessings over your children. Speak blessings over yourself that Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. God bless the little boy. God bless the little child. Jesus loves you and your mother. God bless you. Hallelujah. Touch that little child, God, and protect the little children. Little child, we're praising the Lord. It's up to the parents. The parents, you got to live holy. Parents, you got to be an example to your children. Ain't that right, my brother? I'm so happy to see you this morning. You are too blessed to be stressed, and you're too anointed to be disappointed. I you preach it all right. Yes, sir. yeah, Lord. I thank God for this young man as I pray for him right now. I speak blessings over your life. Thank you. No more curses over your life. I speak blessings over your life. I speak healing over you and your family. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for having church me this morning. Thank you, brother. Say it one more time. You're too blessed. To be stressed. And too anointed. To be disappointed. All right, now. All right. Have a great day. You too. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody say amen. Everybody say amen. 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 Too many child molesters in the churches. Child molesters are going to hell. You're supposed to protect the child and not molest the child. How can you lust after your own daughter? That's nasty. How can you lust after your own son? Then you got molested. It's not your fault you got molested. So don't blame yourself. You're not dirty. Jesus loves you. And today, God is going to heal you with all the form of witchcraft. To kind of control you at an early age. Then you had, your mother might have been a witch. Your father might have been a devil worshiper. And speaking curses over you at an early age. And this is why bad things are happening. This is why you can't seem to get a breakthrough in your life. Because word curses were spoken over you. So you're wrestling with a word curse. But Jesus can break the curse. I like that right there. Now he break the curse, Jesus can destroy the curse. Woo! Hallelujah! Because Jesus got more power than the devil. The I mean, witch is working against your marriage. Got him sitting right in church. Jealous. Manipulation is another form of witchcraft. That's why you must have the mind. Praise the Lord! The, the, the truck driver praising the Lord in the car. That's why you must have the mind of Christ. So you won't be easily manipulated. Because once you have the mind of Christ, God will give you a gift of discernment. God will let you see things. God will give you wisdom. God will give you knowledge. Proverbs chapter 1 verse said, King Solomon said that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. God will give you knowledge. He'll give you wisdom. He'll give you understanding when you spend time in God's presence. He begin to show you things in the spirit. Demons and angels doing spiritual warfare in the spiritual realm. The angels will come on top. They got the power of God like Michael the Prince along with Raphael and Gabriel. There's a lot of demonic activity going on in your life. Against your marriage. He doesn't want your marriage to work. He doesn't want you to be happy. He wants you to be in poverty and poor and and, and, and and not succeed in life. So you can become so depressed that you commit suicide. That's what the devil wants. But tell the devil, you a liar. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Tell the devil, you a liar. I came too far to turn back now. Say, Satan, you a liar. I'm not going to let you cause me to go to hell fire. Talk back to the demons of depression and say, get out of here, Satan. I will not commit suicide. I will not kill myself. Jesus loves me. All of my high most shot time. So fight to keep your joy. There's a lot of witchcraft activity. 
a lot of demonic activity. There's even sex being used by the devil and don't even realize it. Trying to hold up your time. Trying to distract you from praying and fasting. Demonic activity. There's witches in the spirit realm who soul travel out their bodies. You think that you laying next to your wife and you think she's sleeping? Are you laying next to your husband? And you think they're sleeping? And they soul travel. Doing astral projections. When they go out their bodies and go into a trance. And then meet up with other witches. They're having witches meetings. The devil got men and women on assignment to try to stop your destiny. The devil got men and women on assignment to try to stop your destiny because the devil knows that God is going to use you. Some of you are married to your enemy. Some of you are sleeping with the enemy. They're doing witchcraft against you. But there's no weapon that is formed against you. Shall prosper. Quote that scripture. All of my high and most God will put a hedge around you. The devil may try to stop your destiny through witchcraft activity. You must have a gift of discernment. They're gang stalkers in the neighborhood. Demonic activity. That's why you must fast and pray. This kind comes out by fasting and praying. It's all forms of witchcraft, manipulation, lying, deceiving the spirit. The devil wants you to marry your enemy. He don't want you to marry someone who loves you. Because marriage is about being faithful. He wants you to marry someone who cheat on you. He wants you to marry someone who has a gay lover on the side and giving you AIDS and herpes. You better exact that zero and so God give you a hero. Come on, come on, come on. The devil don't want you to be happy. It's a fight to be happy. You got to be determined to keep your joy. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Stay in your Bible. Keep praying every day. Talk to Jesus every day. The devil want to try to disturb your prayer life. Every time you get in the pray, somebody out there ringing the phone. <laughs> they weren't ringing the phone before. Until you begin to read your Bible, begin to pray. All of a sudden now your phone is ringing. Because that's the enemy trying to distract you from praying. Because the devil is afraid of a praying person. The devil is afraid of a fasting person. So the devil wants you to be distracted by sending people to gossip and backbite. They got nothing good to say. They're just draining you. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. They don't encourage you. Every time they get in trouble, they always run to you for their troubles. But then once you need prayer, they ain't there to pray for you. They bring in bad spirits around you. Scratch it, demonic activity. Many of you made covenants with the devil. Some of you are not allowed to be married by the devil. You're allowed just to be single so you can jump from one man to another man to bring them down. I jump from one woman to another woman to bring them down. You're not staying married long. Why? Because you are an agent of Satan. Demonic activity. Wow. Let me close it. God wants me to teach this thing. That's why God had to let you see in the gift of discernment. Hallelujah. Some of them be lesbians. You got a woman lovers on the side and yet she's married to you. Lying be Sodomites. He has a man lover on the side. And yet he's married to a woman and giving your wife AIDS, which is wrong. Demonic activity. I heard concerning Kim Gadaskin that she had witches in her background. She had an ancient witch who made a pact with the devil and she gave her future generation to Satan. And that's how Kim Gadaskin's family came out because she had a great, 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 great grandmother who is in the witchcraft. It's a family generational curse of lust. It's all kind of generational curses in families. Many of you came out of a generational curse of abuse and child abuse. Just like you went through abuse, your mother might have been doing abuse. Or your grandmother might have been abused. It's a generational curse of masons and Eastern stars who made a pact with the devil. Only Jesus can break that curse. Oh, hallelujah. Many of you masons and Eastern stars are worshiping Baphomet and Lucifer. Baphomet is a demon who looks like a goat. You can't serve Jesus and the devil at the same time. Jesus said, 
Why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say? He said, no man can serve two masters. Love the one and hate the other. Can't serve God in man. A lot of you Masons are doing rituals. That's why the city is so messed up. There are demons in the cities because there's a lot of politicians who are devil worshippers. Yes, you may be educated and doing good works. A lot of Freemasons think that doing wonderful works will put them in heaven. Not so. The Bible said, it's by grace that we're saved and through faith. Ephesians chapter number two, verse eight. Not a works that we're saved that any man is supposed. Jesus said many in that day would say, Lord, Lord, have we not cast out devils in thy name? Have we not done many wonderful works in thy name? Have we not prophesied in thy name? Matthew chapter 7 verse 22 Then Jesus will profess unto them I never knew you Depart from me Be workers of iniquity Doing good works is great But it takes more than just doing good works There are a lot of people who do good works Who do not believe in God Al Capone back in Chicago Back in the 1920s Had a food pantry Believe it or not I know he was a murderer But yet he had a food pantry Al Capone was feeding the homeless That's deep but yet he never repented from the mafia to being the head of a mafia. Praise the Lord. You still kept murdering people. So it takes more than just doing wonderful works. There are many people who do wonderful works who do not believe in Jesus. Yes, you're good to your mother. You're good to your father, which is good. You're good to your children. That's good. But it does not mean that you love Jesus. Doing good works is great. There are a lot of Freemasons who believe that just doing wonderful works will put them into heaven. Not so. It takes more than just doing good works. God wants obedience. See, Jesus said, you love me, keep my commandments. Are we perfect? No, we're not perfect. But say, Lord, help me in the area where I'm weak at. Then God will make you strong. God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see y'all this morning. Y'all too blessed to be stressed. Woo! God is with y'all. Have a good day. Thank you, young men of God. I praise God for my brothers right there in the cars. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory adios. Last is Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Young men praising God in the car. That's wonderful to see that. Hallelujah. God got angels. I get tired of talking about demons. God got angels. Oh, he said, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. So when you draw closer to God, God will draw closer to you. When you abide in his word and obey his word, Stop chasing after the woman or a man and chase after Jesus. Oh, come on. Many of you are under a spell. You might have put witchcraft in your food. Or you might have put Spanish fly in your drink. And that's why you can't stop thinking about him. I thinking about her. Now you're idolizing that woman. You're idolizing that man. Some of y'all, many of you got whipped. Form of witchcraft. Demonic activity. Lust can get you in trouble. There's a difference between love and lust. Many of you think you're in love, but you're only just lusting. So when a man loves you, then he gonna marry you, not cheat. And flirt around with different other girls behind your back, he'll put a ring on your finger. Same thing vice versa. When God give you a man, he'll give you a man who'll hold you by your hand and for Jesus, your both will stand and y'all get married. Not playing around with your emotions. That's another form of witchcraft. Come on. You don't want to work? Come on. Eating on you. Draining you out. Lazy. Some of you girls got all these babies. Hotting from one man to another man. Seducing all these men. This a Jezebel spirit. She putting witchcraft in your food. She got a seducing spirit. Don't, do not eat everybody's food. Pray over that food before you eat it. Come on. Some bikes in their house and putting their period in the spaghetti and mix it up. Form a witchcraft. Come on, come on. But when you have the Holy Ghost, he'll give you discernment. So don't eat that food. Pray over the food. Plead the blood, I don't eat it. Come on. Demonic activity. There's witches in the spirit realm and warlocks who are worshiping demons, even on the dollar bill. The stage is being set for the Antichrist. On the back of the dollar bill, it's a Freemason sign. 
Freemasons, the Eastern stars, worship the devil. They worship Lucifer. Lucifer is no longer good, but he's evil. I rather worship Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God. They that worship God, they must worship God in spirit and in truth. On the back of the dollar bill, look at it, it's a pyramid there. Underneath it, it said, Uno Auto Sequero, which means New World Order. The New World Order is a stage being set for the Antichrist. Demonic activity. Demons even be on the money. We need money, but don't worship money. We're coming to a time where it's going to come into a cashless society. And we have no choice but to depend on God. We have no choice but to have faith in God. Especially in the cashless society. With the mark of the beast is coming into the world. 666 is the mark of the beast. According to Revelations chapter 13. I hear the Lord say, don't worry. I will take care of you. Because Jesus Christ got more power than the Antichrist. He said, don't worry. Well, you got no money in the bank. Well, you got no food in the refrigerator. God is better than a smooth operator. God will provide. God will take care of you. When you put God first, he said, don't worry. He said, don't worry. I know it's been hard. I know you've been going through a struggle. It looked like God ain't answering prayers. But he said, hold on. Hold on. If you can't hold on, God will hold on to you. Because you came too far to turn back now. Don't worry, God will make a way when there is no way, like he did it for Israel, when he had Moses lead Israel through the Red Sea. Yeah, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ got more power than the Antichrist. Hallelujah. Don't worry. Give it to Jesus. I know we got discouraged. I know your marriage broke up. I know you've been depressed. I know you've been wounded. I hear the Lord say, I'll make you the head and not the tail. I hear the Lord told me to tell you, I'm going to make you above only and not beneath. Don't worry. Don't worry. When you keep God's holy word, God will bless you. God will turn your tears into joy. Ha, I feel Jesus right now. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy will come in the morning time. This is your time for joy. You don't got to smoke no weed. God is all we need. You don't got to take no angel dust. And God, we ought to trust. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on the prize. Because Jesus said, I'm coming back for a holy people. I'm coming back for a bride. While I'll spot our wrinkle. There's no witchcraft that can stop the power of the almighty God. Whoa. I feel the anointing. With the devil messed up. God can put it back together again because Jesus is a healer. He's a redeemer. He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, ha. the first and the last. I feel like preaching. He said, I am the root ha. and the offspring of David. I am the bright ha. and the morning star. He's a bridge over troubled waters. He's a shelter in the time of the storm. God is going to make a way for you. Don't worry. Don't wait till the battle is over. Huh? But shout right now. When the praises go up, huh? the blessings will come down. Long the bridge is falling down, falling down. The witches are coming down. Ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong. The wicked witch will be dead. Hallelujah. And the wicked warlock. Oh, thank you, Lord. Demonic activity. God is breaking up demonic activity right now in the name of Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach, become a believer. Hallelujah. Living in the world was massive and devil worship going on. But God will give you favor. God will give you favor in the school. God will bless you in the schools. He'll give you favor. God bless these young men right here, Lord. They are future. God bless these young people. You can save them and fill it with the power of the Holy Ghost. God will give you favor. When that young man went in that classroom, and shot them kids like that, that was demonic activity. That was demons talking to his mind. Do not listen to the demon. Listen to God and love each other and pray for each other. Do not listen to the devil's voice. Tell him to go back to hell. So I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to follow Jesus because he's the way. 
the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by him. All that is witchcraft, demonic activity. Hallelujah. And the Lord said he's making that demonic activity go away right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray the prayer of faith. Power in the name of Jesus. I even speak healing on myself right now. Learn how to pray for yourselves too, child of God. Many of you are praying for others. And it look like when you pray for others, they get blessed. And then when you pray for yourself, it's such a, a struggle. It's a hindering spirit in your way. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Many of you have been hindered. Praise God. Like Daniel went on a fast. Daniel had to go on a fast for 21 days. Because he was going to a, with a hindering spirit. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Your struggle will be over. That's for somebody right now. Your struggle will be over. That's for somebody right now. Your struggle will be over. I'm not saying it's going to get easy along the way, but God will hold you by your hand and raise you above your struggles. I need about 10 hours. Can you help me with that? Uh, you want work with, uh, do you want some work? Are you looking for work? Yeah. That God can make you a boss of a company and you can make $1,000. Because we all going through a financial problem. It's not that easy for me to get to the, I want God to bless you. So now you can lend and not borrow. You can be the head and not the tail. Well, you got to look for the jobs. The Bible said that you got to seek and you shall find. So you go online. You got to know what you want. And you can do it because you have the qualification for it. Just ask the Lord, I need work. And he will bless you. You might be a manager of a company. You might be a boss of a company. And now... You can make your own because we all going through the same struggle. If I'm wearing this suit, it doesn't mean I'm not going through a struggle. Somebody gave me this suit down in Harlem. Sometimes I didn't have no money just to encourage you. What did the same thing you was going through? I said, Lord, how am I eat? I'm not in heaven yet. They don't got to pay no bills and rent in heaven. We got to pay rent and bills here on earth. I said, Lord, if you're real, make yourself known to me. I said, Lord, I need money. I'm not making this up. In Harlem, do you know there was $20 on the ground? Mm -hmm. God had an angel put it there. This time I found $40 up in Target. First, I looked around. I said, well, maybe somebody might have dropped it. Nobody was around. It was for me. Now, I'm not better than you. If God can bless me, I want to see God bless you more than he blessed me. I'm not better than you. So I had to go by faith because sometimes I didn't have nobody to help me. So I had to say, and my family is against me. I got enemies of my own family because sometimes your own I'm family would be worse. I'm going to ask God to bless me with $10 this morning. Well, let me pray with you right now. Lord. Give him more than $10. I know he wants $10, but Lord, give him more. In the name of Jesus. I'm pronouncing more than $10 right now before this day is out. I did this to another young man in Harlem. He had the same problem. said he asked for $20. I said, I don't have it, but God had it. He said the same day he found $20 on the ground. Not because I did it, because he believed in God. Give him what he needs and wants. And fill it with the power of the Holy Ghost. Because we know that we're not in heaven yet. We know there's needs that need to be met. Got to eat, got to pay rent. In the name of Jesus, fill him with the power of the Holy Ghost and make yourself known to him that you are real. That is, this is not just a Bible story, but this thing, I want to see thing manifest in his life. He got a need to be met today. I don't have it, but God, you have it. In the name of Jesus, today, in the name of Jesus, you say, Lord, I surrender. Amen, all to you. Amen. And amen. God, what's your name, young man, again? I'm going to keep calling your name to God in prayer. And just keep on calling on Jesus. We love you, our son. God bless you, young man. Hallelujah. You can meet his need. And when you seek you first the kingdom of God and, and all his righteousness, then all these things shall be added unto you. And make sure when God bless you, say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I'm going to stay humble. I'm not going to worship the car. I'm not going to worship a house. Nothing wrong with a car in the house, but don't worship that stuff. Because that stuff can break down. Worship, thank the blesser and don't worship the blessing. Oh, you're caught that. Give the blesser of the glory, but do not worship the blessing. Put the blesser above the blessing. The blesser is Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you the glory. Lord, I give you the praise. Have a good day today, my brother. To God be all the glory for the things he have done. Now, I'm not talking about Allah. I'm not talking about Buddha. I'm talking about Yeshua HaMashiach, the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ. His name is not Zeus. His name don't mean Zeus. Jesus never even preached about Zeus. Praise God. He didn't say Zeus is the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. And we're going to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Get rid of the Buddhist statues and the Allah statues. 
Those are gateways of demons that make bad things happen. When you read your Bible and get to God in prayer and pray to the right God, God begin to bless you. He said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. He said, I'll make you above only and not beneath. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 14. Now, verse 15 said, if you do not keep his commandments, you'll be cursed. Honey, I don't want to be cursed. I want to be blessed. And stay humble when God bless you. Many of you, God, don't answer your prayer because you don't stay humble. You got to stay humble. Don't get souped up or cocky. Have self-confidence, but don't be cocky. There's a difference between having self-confidence and being cocky. If you're cocky, that means you think you're better than other people. Then God got to bring you back down. The Bible said God resists the proud and give us grace unto the humble. Shut down demonic activity. Make it get back in the name of Jesus. Work miracles, 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 miracles. We believe in miracles, miracles, miracles. Make tooth aches go away. Make cancer go away. Make asthma go away. Make evil spirits go away. Make drugs go away. Make the taste of drugs go away. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. Glory adios. Lashes Jesus. Miracles. May the power of God have his way. Jesus, you got power over death. You say, I am the resurrection and the life. Though he was dead, yet shall he live. And he that believes in me shall never die. Oh, Lord. Yes. Bring down demonic activity, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Get rid of hindering spirits. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Begin to praise them saints up in YouTube land. I believe God is going to send deliverance in somebody's life. Bring, bring down the forces of evil, God. In the name of Jesus. Get rid of demonic activity. In the name of Jesus. We come against, bring down the demons that's trying to tear up marriages. Bring down the demons, God, that cause child molestation. Bring down the demons, Lord, that causes nightmares. Bring down the demons, Lord, that causes drugs and broken homes. Bring down the demons, Jesus, that causes mothers to sell their children to a drug dealer for drugs. That's a shame. Don't sell your child for drugs. Your child is a gift. Hallelujah. Bring down the demons that causes child abuse. In the name of Jesus, bring down the demons of witchcraft. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it down right now. In the name of Jesus, huh? and God, you take over. God, you take over, huh? God, you be in control in the streets. God, you take control on the buses. Bring down demonic activity in the schools right now, huh? Bring down the demons of witchcraft and black magic. We take authority over evil spirits. We speak financial miracles. But don't worship finances. Hallelujah. Don't worship that stuff. The more God bless you, the closer you get to God. The more God bless you, the more you read your Bible. The more God bless you, the more you pray. Then you begin to see miracles happening in your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But the Bible says that the way of a transgressor is hard. But when you begin to draw close to God, he'll get rid of your struggles in your life. It's not easy getting to heaven. It's easy to go to hell because I can make a mistake. Because we all make a mistake. But it ain't easy getting up there. But it's not impossible to get there. God will help you. They say, Lord, help me. God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see you all today. You're too blessed to be stressed. Hallelujah. God bless you too. Praise the Lord, man of God. God will help you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you got to cry to God. I say, Lord, I'm tired of being depressed. I need your help, God. I surrender. Many of you, God, is waiting for you to come back to him. You might have been the backslider who used to be saved. Go back to a good church, not a fake church. A lot of these churches are not always real. Some just want your money, 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 money. I'm talking about a real church who cares about your soul. Get baptized in Jesus' name and say, I'm coming back to you, God. Forgive me for my sins. Lord, restore to me the joy I used to have. So I'm coming back home, Jesus. I know they were witchcraft against you. Your mother might have been a witch. Or your father might have been in witchcraft. They've been witchcraft demons been fighting against you against your marriages against your children but i hear the lord say god gonna work a miracle for you god is working a miracle for you right now just have faith 
and believe. With God, all things are possible. Let's begin to pray. Yeah, Lord, thank you, Jesus. You are too blessed to be stressed. Don't gotta take no jug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Getting a Holy Ghost is even better than taking a jug overdose. Woo! I like that right there. Don't need no dope. God is a great, great hope. Now, I'm not talking about the Pope. I'm talking about Jesus, the great hope. I feel Jesus right now. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Jesus. Hallelujah. God has given somebody a peace of mind. God has given somebody joy. Don't look back. Keep on praising the Lord. If you want to raise, give God the praise. Say, thank you for waking me up this morning. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. For he is good. He's good. And his mercy endured forever. Thank you, Jesus. If folk can sell drugs in the street, why can't we praise the Lord in the street? If folk can stab each other in the street, why can't we talk about Jesus in the street? If folk can do prostitution in the street, why can't we lift up Jesus in the street? What the streets need is a Holy Ghost survival. What the White House needs huh, is a Holy Ghost survival. Jesus is the answer for America. Not drugs, not dope. It's Jesus. I feel Jesus right now. What America needs. Get rid of the devil worship and come to Jesus. Stop the fornication. Stop the killing. Stop the racism and come to Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but by me. Repent, repent, and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins. Hallelujah. And he shall, hallelujah, glory adios, gracias Jesus, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Woo! Glory adios, gracias Jesus. Hollywood, come out the devil worships and come to Jesus. If you sell your soul to Satan, when the devil comes to collect, he'll take your soul to hell. Jesus said, what promise a man if you'll gain the whole world and lose his soul? Nothing wrong with being rich, but don't get rich the devil's way. Let the Lord bless you. Oh, uh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. Oh, Lord. Ah, but put God first. Hallelujah. Because riches cannot save your soul from a burning hell. When the rich man died, he went to hell. The Bible says, and in hell, the rich man lifted up his eyes. Your riches cannot save your soul. It can buy you a house. It can buy you cars. But it cannot save your soul. Something is wrong. When the rich and famous are taking drug overdoses and they got more money than you and I because something is missing. That's Jesus. Woo! Glory adios. Last is Jesus. Jesus can fill the gap. Amen. God bless you, brothers. Happy to see y'all. God bless you. Hey, brothers. Young man calling for you. Brothers down the street. I got to go after them. Praise the Lord for the Prince of Peace. Ah, may God save it with the power of the Holy Ghost. God loves you today. And God is setting you free from witchcraft activities. God bless you, young woman. Praying for you today. God bless you. Hallelujah. You can have a conversation with God right now, wherever you are. You know the way to get to church to talk to God. If you've been depressed, God will give you rest. He'll give you a peace of mind. God bless this young man. Bless his whole life. Thank you, Lord. You can save the souls and fill it with the power of your Holy Spirit. Get rid of demonic activity. Throw away the statues and the idols and the OG boards and the Ouija boards. Get away from those witches who do soul traveling in the spiritual realm. Ask God to open up your eyes and give you a gift of discernment. And God will talk to you. Let's begin to say the prayer of faith. God is saving drug addicts. God is saving winos. God is saving prostitutes who's tired of having a pit. God is saving drug addicts who's tired of being on drugs. You don't need no drugs. Let the Lord give you a hug. God's love can set you free from drugs and crack and cocaine. When you get in God's domain, when you get in God's domain, he'll set you free from crack and cocaine. Now you no longer will be insane. You're meant to be happy. You're meant to be happy. 
You're meant to be happy. Some of y'all say you're not meant to be happy. You are meant to be happy. Jesus can give you joy. You're meant to be happy. We are meant to be happy. Some of y'all been used and used and used by people and dream. We are meant to be happy. Yes, we go through. But Jesus is also a healer. He's a deliverer. He said, ask what you want. Praise God. Seek and he shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. I'm not saying ask for a dollar. You ain't trying to work for it. Come on. Faith without works is dead. We all got needs. Let's begin to pray the prayer of faith. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. As we pray the prayer of faith, we're going to watch and pray and live holy every day. We come against demonic activity. Bring it down, Jesus. Bring it down. Bring it down. Witchcraft activity. Bring it down. Against our homes, against our marriages, against our bodies, against our minds. We speak good things, blessings in our lives. Miracles and healing in our life. We promise to give you the glory. We promise to give you the praise. Let your angels get a breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. We speak blessings. We speak miracles. We speak healing. The manifestation of healing. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Make arthritis disappear. We send it back to the pit. Make cancer disappear. That's demonic activity. Witchcraft. Make it disappear. You witches out there. Who's up 3 o'clock in the morning time. Doing the idol worshiping. Putting curses on people's homes. God see your mess. There ain't no weapon falling against a child of God shall prosper. There are many witches and warlocks up three in the morning. Up there doing devil worship early in the morning. Well, I'm going to do Jesus worship. Jesus got more power than the devil. Many of you are sitting right in church doing it. Got them black idols and statues. And trying to put voodoo on somebody and all this stuff. Up there sending out demonic spirits. To try to cause a vision in someone's home. Sometimes the very one laughing in your face, God going to bring down the enemy. So I will make the darkness light before you. What is wrong? God shall make it right before you. Hallelujah. All your battles, God shall will fight before you. God said the high places. God say your enemies. God said all the play haters, all the jealous people who came against you. God said, I'll, I will bring them down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God will bring them down. God will bring your enemies down. God will bring all the witches and the warlocks working against you down. He'll raise you above our enemies. He'll raise us above the enemy. Let God arise. Let the enemies be scattered. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. To God be all the glory. God, I give you the glory. To God be all the glory for all the things you have done hallelujah god bless you to god be all the glory to god be all the glory to god be all the glory for all the things you have done hallelujah to god be all the glory praise the lord to god be all the glory thank you jesus to god be all the glory for all the things you have done oh thank you jesus it's done it's done i want to thank all those who sent to my cash app praise god for the principle i want to thank you sarah coverton for your prayers diane shepherd all those who have prayed for me my prayer warriors handmaiden thank for praying for us i got uh your comments here 
on YouTube. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Reading your wonderful comments. Sarah Coverton, you say hallelujah to God to be the glory. So, Preacher Warren, praying for you and your truth. If you have a cotton ball, yeah, I had one right in my bag. Thank you. So put a little alcohol. The mothers know. Those mothers in North Carolina got the remedies. Y'all know. Praise God on it and put it where your pain is. It will draw out the pain. Okay. That's what I need. That's what we do and it works. Thank you, Sarah Coverton. You suck a blessing. Diane Shepherd, thank you for praying. Jackie Jackson, thank you for your encouragement. Praise God. Thank you for these wonderful comments. Handmaiden, thank you. Thank you for the prayers. Another friend who came here to the YouTube. Sir Liqua Product. I'm gonna spell your name. Forgive me if I spell it, spell it wrong. I mean, pronounce it wrong. C-E-N-I-Q-U-A. Product, P-R-O-C-T-O-R. Thank you for your wonderful comment. You said God bless you abundantly. And may God bless you too abundantly as well. So I'm reading your comments here. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. And also, Hazard Jockey. Oh, praise God. Always leaving wonderful comments from Canada. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Hi, Pezo Hockey. Praise God. Always leaving profound comments. That's so encouraging. Thank you so much. We're praying for you. Pastors, watch this video. May God continue to bless you. May deliverance come in your lives and bless you richly. Anyone who was sent to my cash app this week is Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. W-A-R-R-E-N A-D-A-M-S I'm praying an increase upon your life. That God will turn your decrease into increase. People haven't gotten blessed when they have blessed this ministry. I got testimonies. I'm not no false prophet. I'm not no con artist. We're about souls. Thank you, Jesus. You bless the right ministry, he'll bless you. You'd be surprised because you're sowing on good ground and not stony ground and not bad ground. Again, Flame of Fire 8 on the Pastor Warren Adams. W-A-R-R-E-N, A-D-A-M-S. We're praying for you as you're praying for us. We love you. And something good is going to happen to you because Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. You're friend the gospel. Speak Pastor Preacher Warren. we see you again. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be all the glory. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus.